Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So I was chatting with one of my subscribers and we were talking about how there's a lot of trial and error. You know, you come into gardening and a lot of times you don't know everything um, or very, very little actually, um, if anything. And you learn over time what works and what doesn't. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. For instance, trying to do this with no pesticide. I'm just getting holes all over my kale and cabbage and it's just completely getting destroyed by cabbage loopers, you know? And the other thing is also about varieties. You know, I don't know what works here necessarily other than reading on blog posts and stuff, but it's hard to find that info. So it's just trial and error, trying something that you think might work and then something that might not. This is broccoli broccoli rob and I thought for sure this might work because low bolt but you know it's very hot um, now it's cooled off but it's cooled off a little too late and it's it's too hot um, and they bolted so you know I just didn't keep up with it fast enough and it's just what it is you know it's very possible to not get harvest when you you know it's frustrating you put a lot of work in and see something completely demolished by bugs like so or bolt and then you never get a harvest you know but then you also get winds and that's the thing is that you can start gardening even if you know nothing give it a try I mean you know, you know what are you gonna lose you're just gonna lose you know a little bit of money um, and trying to put in raised beds if you're gonna do that or some effort and trying to dig up you know an area of your lawn to put you know put it in but the worst that's gonna happen is the plants don't make it and you don't get a harvest but you learn something and that's the whole idea is you learn something and you can move forward and the next year you can end up having a win like this now i do have a lot of aphids growing um and i'll put out a video in a couple days once uh i see if this worked but i just did some type of deterrent for it so we'll see if that works um sprayed all over it and it's not super not super harmful so we'll see if that works if it doesn't Oh well, oh, it looks like I'm going to. I've got some good beans going here, as long as these aphids don't completely suck it, all the nutrients away. But all the aphids are only on this side. They're not over there for some reason. And I've got a fair amount of beans growing there. So this is a win. I mean, look at this. It's just growing like crazy. So definitely next year I'm gonna be growing black eyed peas because I know that this works well in my climate. And this is a win, something I learned. And I'll start early on spraying that stuff uh, it's called neem oil. I'll start early and getting a hold of the aphids so they don't kind of take over like they did. I was a little late on it. Um, got also other wins, you know, here of, I've got tomatoes, you know, it took a little bit of effort. I finally got, you can see some starting there. I've got some down here. And so I'll get a harvest of tomatoes. Now I might not get beef steak tomato harvest, but this is a beef steak you can see I've got little baby tomatoes starting there. So it's possible. I think it's a little late, might not, but it's possible. I even got some of these starting here. These are uh, San Marzano's, they're a determinate style and they're working. The only thing that keeps you from doing what you wanna do is to never start. So that's, that's the thing. So give it a try. If you've never gardened before and you wanna give it a try, I highly recommend doing it because, you know, you're, the worst that's gonna happen is you learn something. You know, it's just uh, maybe waste a little bit of money trying to put up beds or whatever, but then the following year you can reuse it, you know? And so there's really no major mistake that is gonna be catastrophic. Maybe that year it would be, but the following year you'll have something to show for it because you'll learn something and you'll be able to start doing it. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.